Mohammed say? Why is it that African leaders haven't done anything about this deplorable situation? Well, let me tell you, my brother and sister, they have tried. Documented to this day, 22 coups where leaders were assassinated. France had something to do with it. The first seven, when they decided they were pulling out of the CFA and that they're gonna print their own money, they were assassinated. Every time an African leader has tried to do what's best for their country, they were assassinated. Majority of them aided by France. It's a known fact. And then others, they were just mercenaries who felt that when there was a, a natural resource discovered in one country, they wanted to create a coup. So while the country is thrown into a civil war, they're siphoning the natural resource. We know of one particular story that had we not known about it, it would have been, oh, there we go again, the Africans. In uh, about 25 uh, years ago, a group of young, rich, white kids were having fun in Cape Town. They found out that there was oil in Equatorial Guinea that just been discovered and they wanted it. So they set out a plan to have a coup in Equatorial Guinea. So while the Guineans are busy fighting a civil war, they will be siphoning the oil. But they made one mistake. There were two planes, one was to leave South Africa, stop in Zimbabwe, pick up more ammunition on their way to hunt in Equatorial Guinea. Another plane was taking off in the Caribbean that had this puppet diaspora who was supposed to be the next president. <laughs> Mugabe wondered why such young people needed such powerful ammunition to go hunt in Equatorial Guinea. In doing his research further, he found out that this was a coup in the making. He allowed them to land in Zimbabwe. They loaded their plane, and just before takeoff, they were all arrested. The ringleader of that group was none other than the son of the former Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Margaret Thatcher. She had to fly to Zimbabwe and paid handsomely to get her son out. The last one of those prisoners left Zimbabwe about six, seven years ago. Had these young people succeeded, it would have been another coup. There you go, the Africans again. Such, my brothers and sisters, is the story of your Africa. They don't do coups anymore. They simply create instability. So when you hear of an instability in an African country, ask yourself, what is really going on? Because what they are telling you is really going on is just a shiny object. The real issue is over here. And you need to stop before you start being used as an instrument of your own self-destruction. She's dead.